Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Or welcome if you're new. I'm making some sourdough waffles for breakfast. So, and getting flour all over the place. Um, it's early Sunday morning. So, uh, one cup of flour in here. I'm still trying to wake up. But we have church, so we gotta get some breakfast going. One and a half teaspoons of baking powder. One teaspoon of salt. Which I need to refill this. So let's leave this out. Three tablespoons of sugar. Take a sip of coffee. So we're gonna make blueberry and chocolate chip waffles. So I'm not gonna add anything like in here. I'm gonna add it, I guess, just right on top in the waffle maker. I'm gonna add a little bit of sweet potato powder, some chia or some flax seed and hemp seed. And a little bit of vanilla protein powder. And then you'd add three tablespoons of melted butter. I'm just gonna do two of coconut oil. Oops. Teaspoon of vanilla, half a cup of milk, two eggs. and a cup of sourdough discard. And that's it. And while these cook, I'm gonna get our dinner going in the crock pot. We're gonna have a pork roast. So I gotta get that together. I'm gonna get some Dutch oven bread together. Probably just wash out this bowl and use this bowl for that too. We're gonna put a Lipton onion packet. Oh, I guess I should have done salt and pepper first. I don't even have any salt. Here's some pepper. You still gotta make all plate. Yeah, I haven't done it yet. We're gonna do this jar of mandarin oranges that I can. And then we're gonna use a jar of homemade cranberry sauce. And then some bacon. I cooked up some bacon yesterday, if you didn't see the video. I cooked up some for this, and then also for breakfast burritos later in the week. And I'm just gonna cook him on low for probably about six to eight hours. Now we're gonna get some Dutch oven bread together. So we're gonna do a cup of whole wheat flour. Uh, We'll do a cup and a half. Two cups of regular flour. A teaspoon of salt. One and a half cups of water. And a packet of yeast or two and a quarter teaspoons. Mix this around and we'll let this sit and then we'll cook this before dinner tonight. So 
so tomorrow is the solar eclipse so i printed out some stuff so i need to go through and all i did was like print a whole bunch of stuff so now i need to go through and organize and figure out who gets what and how i'm going to teach what and things like that so that is on my to-do list today so i just got all of this done and taken care of and look my printer <laughs> i fixed it but look at the lines they're not supposed to be there but um everybody's set and done for just some fun activities for the whole solar eclipse and then we've got a couple different art things we're gonna do so tomorrow should be fun because we're actually on break tomorrow but um we're still gonna do this just because when else do you get to do an eclipse day so we're gonna do that and then the rest of the week will just be very very chill since we're on school break the kids were over here doing some art they did a, an art hub for kids thing let's see if i can find it Oh, I don't know, but it was these cute little Easter things that they did, so I don't know if you can tell. So one of the things that I want to get done today is make our chia pudding for tomorrow for breakfast because that's the kind of thing that needs to be making overnight or a lot earlier than just being able to make it and eat it. So I'm going to go ahead and get those going and just put them in the fridge until tomorrow because I have plenty of time now and it just makes sense to do it now versus, I don't know trying to get it done later and like being stressed about getting it done when I have the time right now. So we're going to go ahead and get it done. You'll see it tomorrow. Breakfast is done for Monday morning by 1130 on Sunday. That's amazing. So I tell you guys all the time that Sunday, Saturdays and Sundays, weekends is breakfast or lunch is just like find what you want. So this is Miss Everly's lunch. Everybody else is outside. We have sausage balls, a yogurt, some grapes and chips and cake. I'm having a peanut butter and jelly. We had two sandwich buns or hot dog, or hamburger buns. Oh my gosh. Hamburger buns left from the other night whenever we did something. Sloppy Joe's, I think. So I am just trying to use those up. So I made myself peanut butter and jelly. I made a peanut butter and jelly for Layla when she comes in because she'll want one. And I'm having chips and queso. Mm. So I have the Dutch oven preheating to do the Dutch oven bread. I just got potatoes in the Instant Pot. And while I'm in the kitchen, I'm going to go ahead and get our oven, our, our oven, oh my gosh, our OJ bread made and cooked in an oven for tomorrow. It is our second breakfast. I don't think I'm going to do the glaze until tomorrow, but again, you'll see this recipe tomorrow. I just have time. I'm in the kitchen. I'm like, hey, why not? Let's make it now. Now I'm going to get our Dutch oven bread going. Well, it's already ready. I just got to get it shaped and get it put into the oven so it can cook. Okay, so our Dutch oven bread is done. Here you guys, ooh, I almost just dropped my phone. Um, this is ready for tomorrow and you'll see it tomorrow. I'll ice it tomorrow, but at least this part's out of the way. All right, we just got done feeding animals. So I'm making some stuffing. My husband loves box stuffing. So we have some box stuffing here that I'm uh, using Layla's butter for. That way she can also have it because this is something that she will eat. She does not eat much. So she'll eat this. So I made sure to use her butter. We've got some corn going here. I need, haven't even opened this. Let's open it together and look. There's that. And then I need to go ahead and slice up this bread. And I already did the mashed potatoes. Those are in the Instant Pot ready to go. So I'll pull those out as well. So here's dinner tonight. Look at this big old Thanksgiving feast we've got. Pork roast, mashed potatoes, stuffing, corn, and Dutch oven bread. Okay, dinner was so good. I ate way uh, too much food. I'm stuffed. But we've got kiddos playing outside. We've got one kiddo inside that needs to get in the shower. So we are going to end our video now. We've got a cat over there chasing bugs. There's a bug flying around and she's chasing it everywhere. I'm actually hoping that I need to move my cantaloupe because she was just over there and she was like, I was afraid that she was going to knock it down because there's a little bug flying up on the top. Um, but anyway, um, I'm going to end our video because we've got things to wrap up and get ready for tomorrow because it is Sunday night. So I thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you tomorrow where I've already prepped breakfast and our second breakfast. So I'm already ahead of the game. It's amazing. So thank you and I'll see you then. Bye.